A new system for county clerk's offices across the state was installed months ago. How the system is still causing troubles for some. And one state's governor is planning to repeal an abortion law that's been on the books for more than a century. How lawmakers... Plus, a soggy weather pattern is on the way. Those details coming up as Mountain News First at Four continues. Mountain News First at Four continues. The new Kentucky Automated Vehicle Information System, or CAVIS, was introduced earlier this year, but several county clerks say it's been an adjustment to get the new system going. WYMT's Alyssa Williams spoke with some of those clerks to learn more about the issues they are seeing. As county clerk's offices across the Commonwealth continue adapting to the new Kentucky Automated Vehicle Information System, or CAVIS, people may be seeing some delays in some of the services these offices provide. One of those offices is the Madison County Clerk's Office. Several Madison Countyans, like Jasmine Trailer, didn't receive their vehicle renewal registration cards for April until the month was nearly over. Here it is now, May the 2nd, and I didn't receive my card until yesterday. Well, obviously, now it's overdue, and so I'm like, what? why is it taking so long? Because now I'm risking like having to pay late fees and like having to stay at home because now I don't know how I'm supposed to renew my tag. Madison County Clerk Kenny Barger says for those that didn't get their renewals in time, any penalties are being waived. Clerks are struggling across the state. It's, it's, a, it's a tough job. We have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of moving parts. So if anything like this goes on, especially with the motor vehicle park, because that's our biggest volume of business. That's what people come here for mostly. So when anything goes on with that that throws a, a glitch into it, it really makes it tough. But we're, we're getting through it. Barger says regardless of some of the bumps he's seeing along the way when it comes to this new system, he's already seeing some of those benefits too. In Madison County, Alyssa Williams, WKYT. Barger says if you still have not received an April renewal card, contact your local county clerk's office. The Engineer Street Bridge has been a staple in the Corbin community for generations. Recently, due to wear and tear, officials decided it was time to make some repairs. After two weeks of hard work, the bridge repairs were completed, and officials with the Public Works Department say they believe the community is happy to see it reopen to foot traffic. We, we, we received so many phone calls when this bridge got shut down, it wasn't funny. So uh, I, I look for people exercising across it. Uh, some people use it for travel, you know, just to get from job to job site. And just anything a pedestrian wants to, some people just come over to sightsee. It's uh, enjoyment to everybody. Officials say the bridge used to see heavy vehicle traffic before it was closed in the early 1990s and turned into a walking bridge. Summer officially starts on June 20th. We're getting a big preview on this Thursday afternoon. Let's take a live look from the London Corbin Airport. Plenty of blue sky on this Thursday and some very warm temperatures. Most of us right now in the middle to even upper 80s, a few degrees away from 90 in Manchester, Harlan, Jackson, also Somerset up to 87 for Irvin, 86 in Hazard and 87 for Clintwood and Grundy at this hour. Not a drop on first alert pinpoint Doppler all thanks to high pressure and that will keep us mainly dry as we close out your Thursday. And those temperatures also mild once again. We see upper 60s to lower 70s this evening and middle to lower 60s to wake up on your Friday. And be sure to soak up the sunshine because a busy weather pattern is on the way as early as tomorrow as more showers are on the way for your Friday. Also for your Derby weekend and rain chances also linger into next week. As you can see for the next five days, most of us could see up to one inch, maybe more than one inch of rain over the next five days. Timing out those showers on Friday plus plus a soggy weekend coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. Arizona's governor plans to sign a bill today repealing a 160 year old abortion ban. It got national attention after the law was revived by the state Supreme Court last month. As CBS's Janet Shamley reports, Democrats in the legislature found just enough votes to repeal it. By your votes of 16 eyes, 14 nays, you have passed House Bill 2677. 
After a heated session in the Arizona Capitol, the state's Republican-controlled Senate narrowly voted to repeal an 1864 law that bans almost all abortions. Two Republican senators joined 14 Democrats to reverse the law after the repeal barely cleared the state house last week. It's now headed to Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs' desk, who said she'll sign it. The Civil War era law predates Arizona's statehood. It bans all abortions except if the mother's life is in danger and could allow the state to prosecute abortion providers. The decision divided voters in the battleground state. It's a victory for women. It's a victory for the Constitution. The repeal allows the state's 15-week abortion limit, enacted before Roe v. Wade was overturned, to remain state law. We still have a road ahead of us. Even if signed today, the repeal will not take effect until 90 days after the legislative session ends. With the near total ban set to take effect June 27th, there will likely be a near total ban on abortions in Arizona for a period of weeks or months this summer. The thing that I worry about most is what are we going to do in that gap time um, when abortion is going to be illegal in Arizona. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Phoenix. Today and tomorrow, the DOJ will present final arguments in a multi-year blockbuster antitrust lawsuit against Google. The Department of Justice is trying to convince a federal judge Google illegally monopolized the online search market. Drawing on testimony from a trial last fall, government attorneys say Google maintained an illegal monopoly through a web of contracts. Those contracts make Google the default search engine on millions of devices and browsers. The United States military has withdrawn troops from a French military base in Chad after that country demanded they leave last month. According to Pentagon officials, approximately 60 U.S. forces stationed at the base in Chad's capital relocated to Germany on Tuesday. Many of the U.S. troops stationed there were part of the U.S. Special Operations Task Force. Officials say the temporary step is part of an ongoing review of their security cooperation. The U.S. military has admitted that it mistakenly killed a civilian in an airstrike in Syria last year. This comes after the man was initially misidentified as a senior al-Qaeda leader. An investigation ordered by U.S. Central Command found several issues with the airstrike that needs to be improved, but it did not detail those issues in the report released today, noting that many facts about the investigation remain classified. The United States is accusing Russia of using chemical weapons against Ukraine and therefore violating the chemical weapons ban. In a statement yesterday, the U.S. State Department said it had made a determination that Russia has used the chemical weapon chloropicrin against Ukrainian forces in violation of the Chemical Weapons Convention, or CWC. It added that Russia had also used tear gas during the war, which is also in violation of the CWC. A new study finds Russian state media is ramping up its English and Spanish presence on TikTok. The Brookings Institution report says the engagement on such videos has doubled from last year. The nonprofit group's report notes the majority of the videos by state-owned media outlets, their workers, and government officials do not explicitly focus on U.S. politics, but the report predicts Russia's use of TikTok will increase closer to the November U.S. presidential election. Coming up on First at Four, experts are finding ways to potentially tackle climate change, possible solutions they have coming up. And we are dry today, but a busy weather pattern is on the way by this weekend. Those details after this break.